In this video, I'm gonna be talking about Fitbit's latest update, bringing more voice assistant options, on wrist calling options, as well as more blood oxygen level monitoring options. These are all things we've been waiting for on the Verso 3 and Fitbit Sense, and I'm excited to talk about them and get you set up up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff, and if you are new to this channel, I do all sorts of different smartwatch reviews, tech tutorials, and more, so please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm very excited because I have been waiting for some of the features that Fitbit has been talking about in advertising with their latest watches that they released, the Fitbit Sense and the Fitbit Versa 3, but unfortunately they didn't have those capabilities for like the on-wrist calling as well as some of the voice assistant capabilities that they were talking about. They were mentioning that they were going to be coming later this year. That time is here. I've had a chance to install the update and set up some of those different features. And I wanna walk you through all those different options and all the different ways that you can now use the latest software on your Versa 3 or Fitbit Sense. So let's jump into it. So if you haven't yet updated, uh, when you go on the Fitbit app, somewhere up top, right where this activity notification is popping up on mine. There is actually a notification to update to the latest software. So if you haven't done that yet, be sure to go ahead and update that. If you're not receiving a notification to update, I've tried uh, or I've noticed for previous updates, sometimes closing out of the Fitbit app, restarting your phone, restarting your watch. Those all seem to prompt for that latest update if you haven't gotten it yet. But with that being done, what we can do then is go to the account button and then go to your device which in this case will be the versa 3 this update is also available for the fitbit sense as well but you'll notice that after doing the update which just took a couple of minutes on uh, my phone and then updating my watch here i was within wi-fi so it could download that latest update we now have some new features uh, first let's talk about voice assistant so up until this point we have had uh, Amazon Alexa available on the uh, different Versa models as well as uh, Fitbit Sense. With the latest update, they now are bringing uh, Google Assistant to the watch as well. And they have uh, updated Amazon Alexa. So the kicker here is that you can only use one or the other at one time on your watch. So you'll need to choose. Um, with Amazon Alexa, with the latest update, it now gives you audible responses, and we'll check that out in a second here, whereas Google Assistant gives you all the Google Assistant functionality, except I can't get that to actually speak back to me, so it's just Amazon Alexa if you want the watch to talk back. So let's actually start with Amazon Alexa, and you will need to have an Amazon account uh, set up, so if you don't, you'll need to set that up, otherwise we're just going to sign in with my Amazon account. and it'll just have me go through a bunch of these prompts. And now that it's connected, I can do all sorts of stuff with Amazon Alexa. Pretty much the same functionality you had before, except let's test out the uh, audible responses. Tell me a joke. How did the dog fix the lamp? He just plugged it in. <sighs> So you'll also notice that there's a little speaker icon at the bottom and that brings up voice assistance volume so you can increase it or decrease it. And if the voice assistant's actually talking, you'll actually hear it getting quieter or louder, but there's really no like status bar letting me know when I'm maxed out on volume or when I have it all the way down. So for voice assistant, you know, uh, for Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant, you can either just by default long press the side button to bring it up. The other thing you can do is go to your main screen and then swipe to the left and you'll have either Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant, whichever one is active, right there. And if you go into that, tell me how much protein is in an egg. That will also bring up uh, Amazon Alexa, and then from that point, you can ask it whatever you want. You can do things like tell it to start a run, 
We can also tell it to turn on or off smart devices in our house. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker, our little hidden robot, and he's gonna briefly pop up somewhere in this video. And if you happen to spot him popping up, take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you saw him popping up and let me know that time with your best comment down in the comments section below and you'll be like Marine Mom who is our latest viewer who spotted Tinker in one of our recent videos and she's getting a shout out in this video as well as she's gotten her name added to our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page on our Tinker Forward website. So let's switch over to Google Assistant. Again, I'm going back into the whatever the device is, the Versa 3 or the Fitbit Sense, go to Voice Assistant and then you can change to Google Assistant. It's then going to have me activate Google Assistant on the watch, and you're going to need to have some sort of a Google Assistant account for this. So it's now connecting to our Google uh, account that we have linked, and I'm using a Google Pixel 3 phone. This seems to be working uh, very well in my experience. We're going to activate that and we'll link it up with personal results. Assistant is now ready, so we can say things like start a run, set a timer, how did I sleep last, let's test it. Start a run. So you can see that it takes a second, but it has started a run for me, which is pretty cool. stop my run and then I can see my stats from my run as well you'll notice there's no audible responses let's try one more tell me a joke why did all the students eat their homework your teacher told them it was a piece of cake oh. So yeah, so you still have prompts then to uh, do other things with Google Assistant, but again, unfortunately, there's no audible response for it, but some people may provide uh, or may uh, prefer that the watch doesn't actually talk back to them. So real quick, let's talk about blood oxygen level monitoring. So if you've got a Fitbit Versa 3 or if you've got uh, the Fitbit Sense, you can also monitor your blood oxygen levels and before this update, you had to install a specific SPO2 signature watch face. Uh, you had to wear the watch to bed with you, and then the next morning it would uh, report some sort of a blood oxygen level reading, and sometimes that wouldn't be until like an hour uh, after you had woken up, 45 minutes to an hour afterwards. With the latest update now, Fitbit is offering more watch faces that will also give you the SPO2 reading on them. Uh, so you've got more options and then it is automatically going to be able to track your blood oxygen level readings at night. You don't necessarily have to have one of these watch faces installed. Uh, if you're interested in checking out these watch faces so that you can get the SPO2 readings, when you go to your device, so this is my Versa 3, it would be the same thing for the Sense. From your main dashboard, you can go to your account button, find your device, in this case my Versa 3, and then go to clock faces. And then you'll notice my device, or my Versa 3, and these are my clock faces currently installed. If I go to all clocks, and then I search, and we'll search for SPO2. Searching for SPO2 brings up these different clock faces and these give you options then to uh, give you different display uh, designs to see the SPO2 reading. So that was something that previously wasn't available on your Versa 3 or your Sense. So this latest update gives you more options for blood oxygen level tracking. Um, this is uh, the latest update since the last update that Fitbit did uh, in the middle of October 2020, where uh, if you are a Fitbit Sense user, that has the extra sensors in it that allow you to take an ECG. And uh, I did a whole video on the process of how to take an ECG as well as generate a report from that. And again, this is only something that's available on the Fitbit Sense, not the Fitbit Versa 3. Uh, but if you're interested in checking out that video, I will leave a link down in the description below to check that out as well. So previously using the Versa 3 and the Fitbit Sense, you can accept and deny phone calls on your wristwatch. But then if you actually want to have the phone call itself, you'd need to accept the phone call and then move over to your phone. 
with the latest update, now you can hold the whole conversation on the watch itself, but you do have to set up on wrist calling. So we're gonna do that real quick. From my Fitbit dashboard, what I can do is click on my account button and then go to my device, so Versa 3 or your Fitbit Sense. And then from here, you'll see my Versa 3 menu. And if I scroll down under the icons, I'll get to my sync and then general settings. Under general settings, you're gonna see on wrist calls. And if I click on that, it's going to have me set up on wrist calls and uh, it will use the built-in microphone and speaker to take Bluetooth calls hand-free. So here's the instructions on how you're gonna do it. You're gonna have to keep your Versa 3 or your Sense nearby. You're gonna connect your phone to Versa 3 controls or Fitbit Sense controls. Uh, and if it's already connected, you'd need to tap the info icon and then tap forget this device and then reconnect it. And then when you're done, return to the Fitbit app. So we're actually gonna do these steps, but I'm using a Google Pixel 3 Android phone. And again, this is only gonna work for Android if you are on an Apple device. Unfortunately, Apple locks out these features. They only make it available if you've got an Apple Watch. Uh, but using my Google Pixel 3 phone, let's start the setup. And I'm gonna look for that Versa 3 controls or Sense controls. And if I'm not seeing it showing up, I'll pair new device. And there we go, we've got Versa 3 controls popping up. So we're gonna go ahead and connect to that. Uh, it's going to have me pair Versa 3 controls. Bluetooth pairing code is this number here. This is specific to this particular pairing, and that's also showing up on my watch just to confirm. I'm going to allow access to my contacts and call history, and we're going to go ahead and pair. So I'm now going to see that my connected devices are not only my Versa 3, but my Versa 3 controls. And uh, from this point now, let's go ahead and take a phone call. And if this video is helping you out or if you've learned something, take a second right now, smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel. And it makes me smile. So here's an example of taking a phone call on the watch. And this is my wife who's uh, calling. Now you do need to have your phone nearby uh, or on you in order to do this. Hello there. Good. Hang on. Let me see if I can turn you up a little bit. There's a volume. Uh, can you hear me pretty good? I can hear you now. Hey, there we go. I was able to turn you up using the speaker icon. I'm just showing everybody how the phone call on wrist calling works on the Fitbit Versa 3. Oh, that's fun. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. So, it's got... Uh, it's, it's got a mute button so I can mute myself. You probably didn't hear me there because I... I muted you and uh, I can still see the time of the watch while I'm talking to you there's this dot 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 button uh, and that brings up keypad or uh, I guess I can switch you over to talking on the phone so I have one of those options let me just see if I can call is now on the phone can you hear me on your phone I can. there we go or hear me on yes I can hear you on my phone and you can hear me on your phone that's pretty fun. And let's see if I can switch you back to the Versa 3. Uh, can you hear me now? I can hear you now. We're back on the watch. Cool. So those are some of the different functions that you can do with uh, on-wrist calling using the Versa 3. So using the on-wrist phone calls is nice. Uh, it's convenient if you've got a call coming in. However, if you want to start a phone call from your Versa 3 or Fitbit Sense, uh, really, the only way that I could find to do that in my testing uh, between my wife going back and forth making phone calls is that I can use the voice assistant, Google Assistant, uh, to I can activate that and then say make phone call to and then list out the phone number. When I did that, it was able to start a phone call on my phone to uh, calling my wife, but then there was no way to actually transfer the conversation from my phone back to my wristwatch. So it seems like that only works if you're accepting an incoming phone call, that it gives you the capability to talk on your actual watch. So I'm interested to know what you guys think of the latest Fitbit operating system updates. Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you haven't subscribed to Tinker Forward yet, take a second right now, hit that subscribe button, that little notification bell, 
you'll get notified every time I release new videos. I've done a ton of different reviews on both of these watches, the Fitbit Sense and the Versa 3. So if you want to find out more information, uh, maybe how to use music on the watches or how to start an exercise, those types of things, uh, even setting up notifications on these watches, you'll definitely want to check out those review videos and those will be linked down in the description below as well. My name is Jeff. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome and I will see you guys in the next video.